pretty piece of property now. All of this land was originally purchased by a lady named Elizabeth Sinclair all the way back in 1865. She bought this land from King Kamehameha V for $10,000 in gold. It's nearly 50,000 acres. And what's cool is 150 years later, present day, it's still in her family's hands. This property belongs to her great-great-grandsons nowadays, the Robinson brothers. And they do a very good job of keeping it preserved and protected. over this ridge in front of us and take you out towards the Olokele Canyon. You know, with our wildlife out here on Kauai, truthfully, we really don't have anything too exotic on the island. You know, there's no snakes on Kauai, for example, which I personally like that. I like to hike so you don't have to worry about snakes. And most of the wildlife was originally brought over as livestock at some point in the island's history, so out in these areas there's lots of goats, pigs, deer, a lot of cats all over the island. We have wild cats all over Kauai, just like the cats or kittens you might have at home. And of course our world famous Kauai roosters, lots of those guys running around. We'll cross over into the Olokele Canyon here. And what's really cool is you'll begin to see horizontal lines on the canyon walls. A little bit of rain right here, but that'll clear up momentarily. And each one of the horizontal lines you see on the canyon walls, each one represents a separate lava flow during the formation of the island. This is how islands are born. It's like little layers, lava flow on top of lava flow on top of lava flow as the island rises out of the ocean. And the canyons we're about to fly into, these were actually carved out by the rivers over about four million years. kind of neat because as you go around the island you go through seven different climate zones so it's pretty typical weather here to get rain just kind of in one area and then it'll stop as you get you know, just a little bit farther around the island. This side of the island is actually pretty dry most of the year it only gets about 18 inches of rain a year on average. We'll come out to the Waimea Canyon next. The name Waimea means red water in Hawaiian. It's a reference to the color of the river as it flows out to sea. The canyon itself is over 10 miles long, over 3,000 feet deep, and a mile and a half wide. This is the area they call the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. It's all part of a big state park. Now, state Road 550 actually runs along the canyon rim in front of us and to the left. And you can drive your car right up to the edge of the canyon. There's a lot of spots to pull over and get pictures, just kind of take in the view. Very big recreational area, in particular the canyons here. A lot of hiking trails. A lot of people like to hike through the bottom of the canyon. A lot of the hiking trails come right to the canyon rims above us. It's a pretty small island, only about 33 miles across at the widest point. 
in that space of 33 miles, we have these amazing canyons like the Waimea, tropical rainforest, some of the prettiest beaches in the world, even a large swamp on top of the island called the Alakai. Nose round for Philida and Brent. Then back on the left for Catherine and Annabelle. so much rain the last couple days it's come back to life. Not yeah, too many. Oh, there's a couple hikers out there on the rim, little sloping part. out to the sea cliffs in front of us, which will come to view in just a moment. Uh, this area up here is a hunting zone that we're coming out over, so depending on the time of year, you can hunt for goats, pigs, deer. There's a reservoir up here to the right that's stocked with trout, so you can fish up here if that's your thing. A little reservoir will be coming into view in just a moment. actually where the road ends on the western side of the island. There's a Navy base over there called the Pacific Missile Range. And they train U.S. Navy submarine crews. And they also test rockets and things like that from time to time, torpedoes. A little reservoir down here to the right is stock. You see all them guys in the bank doing a little trout fishing today? It's kind of low. It's been, been kind of dry over on this side of the island. You see the reservoir is pretty low today, but it's pretty popular spot to fish because truthfully, you know, there's not too, you can fish in the ocean all day long. It's nice and easy. It's kind of harder to get fish out of the streams and the reservoirs. Another rainbow on the left. Pretty. Right in front of the Poli Holly Cliffs. In this area down here, Miss Catherine on the left, there was a forest fire here, so that's kind of a cleanup effort after that forest fire. Those are extremely rare on Kauai, but this one happened last summer. Unfortunately, I think it was caused by humans. Somebody left the campfire going and the winds were pretty high. I like the clouds up here on the cliffs and in the mountains. The mountains out here head to the right are about 4,000 feet tall, so it's pretty normal for us to get the clouds right on the edge of them most days. The 
white golf ball shaped structures out to the left, part of a radar facility operated by the U.S. Navy. I think it's an association with the base down there. And on top of the hill to the right, there's some antennas and a satellite dish up there that's operated by NASA. They track the satellites from there. side of the island. The Nepali coast in just a moment. And the name Nepali means the cliffs in Hawaiian. In the sky, also on the faces of people passing by. I see faces. Yeah, just a little bit of a wiggle as we come off shore here. What do you do? They really say I I love you. I hear babies cry. Is today's weather rate to a uh, you know a normal day? But as far as the rain or the yeah, I mean, is this like a beautiful day or is this like a?